everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to do the advanced startup options to troubleshoot any issues in Windows 11. This can work whether the Windows wants to load or not. Right now we're doing it from within Windows, assuming Windows is still working, but rather than reinstalling or resetting Windows, which I have another video on that, we want to do some advanced troubleshooting. So to do that, what you want to do is click on the start button and then click on power and before hitting restart what you want to do is hold down the shift key and as you're holding shift press restart and keep holding the shift key as it says please wait so I'm still holding the shift key I'm not letting go of it once you see this screen you can let go of the shift key and we can go from here so a couple options are pretty obvious here. You got continue to Windows 11, it just exits out of this. And uh, then there's turn off your PC if you just wanna give up and shut it down and take it into a repair shop. Uh, you gotta use a device if you wanna boot it from a USB or a DVD drive to run some other diagnostics or reinstall Windows using that. The option we're looking at here is to troubleshoot to reset your PC or look at other advanced options. So we're gonna click into there, and here's the reset the PC, but we already got a couple videos on how to reset the PC. What we wanna do here is look at advanced options. This is where we're gonna have a number of options to look at here, and we're gonna go through each one of these. So to start up repair, we'll just reboot the computer and automatically search for problems and try and fix them. You can click in here, then it starts running through diagnosing the PC. Then you'll see if you get the option that the repair worked or not, and if it was successful it should just go straight into Windows, and if it wasn't successful then it most likely will come back here where then you can shut down the computer or jump back into the advanced options. Let's go back into advanced options, back to troubleshoot, advanced options, and so the startup repair wasn't successful. We can then look at the startup settings. So then you would just hit restart and it starts the computer in safe mode. So the next screen that comes up here is the startup settings. So if you wanted to just go into safe mode with everything disabled, then you can choose number four and if you want to go in safe mode but keep the internet so that you can download things it depends on what it is that you're troubleshooting then you could choose number five so it'll go in safe mode with everything disabled but still have internet to see that that's not an issue you also have enable safe mode with a command prompt so that way it will basically just give you a command prompt to type in commands and do things. Of course, you'll have to know your uh, DOS commands or look up specifically what it is that you're trying to do so that you could punch in those commands into the command prompt. There's a bunch of other things in here as well. I mean, right from the top, number one, you got enable debugging, so it just creates a debug log. You've got the boot logging to check out what's happening during the boot time. Enable low resolution video as number three in case you think it's a video card problem Then it will put it into real basic settings to see if it works that way Then you can see if it's just a, an issue with the video card or the video driver uh, Number seven disabling the driver signature enforcement So then you can see if there's any kind of issues with the drivers having signatures enforced and there's also disabling early launch anti-malware protection in case your antivirus is basically causing some kind of an issue. You can also troubleshoot that fairly easily by disabling the antivirus or just uninstalling it and rebooting the computer. Then you also have number nine to disable automatic restart after any failures. So that way, if the computer has an issue and it wants to crash, it's not just gonna restart on you, it'll stay on and just may be frozen, so at least you'll have an opportunity to possibly see what happened and troubleshoot from there. It says to press F10 or zero for more options or just hit enter to return to the operating system. Let's go into F10. 
And the only other option in here is to launch the recovery environment. So that may be your brand name recovery system. Like if it's an HP, it's going to go into the HP recovery system. Or if it's Dell, it's going to use Dell's recovery and so on. If we press 1, in our case, it just brings us right back to this advanced troubleshooting uh, screen again. So we'll go back into troubleshoot, advanced options. So we looked at startup repair and startup settings. The command prompt, um, I can show you what that is here. It basically brings up the command prompt on top of this screen that we're in. So you could type in different commands and look at what's on the computer and tell it to do just about anything. Go back into Troubleshoot, Advanced Options. That was the command prompt. You've got Uninstall Updates. So we can go in here and you have a couple of options here where you can uninstall the latest quality update or uninstall the latest feature update. So these are different type of updates that it allows you to be very uh, granular in this and choose. So if we go to the latest quality update, It'll tell you here that if you're running into any problems since installing the last quality update, then uninstalling that might fix the problem. And that it won't affect your personal files, apps, or settings. It's really just removing that last update. So you can simply click on here to uninstall it. So it then tells you that the uninstall is complete and you can hit done. And it takes you back here where you can then continue exit out of this troubleshooting screen and go back to Windows 11 and see if the issue has been resolved. Let's go back into troubleshoot and advanced options. If we look at the uninstall updates, that was the quality update. You also have the exact same thing for the feature update where it tells you the same type of thing and then you can go to uninstall the feature update and it'll run through the same process. We'll just cancel out of here for now because we already know what that will do. We'll go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options. So we've gone through all these uninstalling updates. There's a couple of things here left. The UEFI firmware settings, it will allow you to change settings in there. So it will boot you into the computer's BIOS basically to make changes. If we click on that, it'll say to confirm to restart. So let's do that. So it would then boot you into a very DOS looking type screen similar to this. Depending on your system, it's going to look very different. I'm doing this through a virtual machine, so it's very limited, but you're going to have some kind of screen like this where you've got to use the arrow keys to go up and down and choose the different options from here. So you're navigating strictly from the keyboard. The mouse will not work in this uh, screen here basically. So you should have the option somewhere listed on the bottom of the screen where you can then exit, continue, or reset. So every computer's system BIOS or firmware settings is very different and it depends on each make and model of the computer. There's really no two computers that would be the same unless they were the exact same make and model made at the same time. Otherwise, there's going to be some kind of difference, even if it's very subtle, but a lot of manufacturers, there are very extreme differences. So because of that, I'm not able to show you how to do anything in the BIOS, but at least this is how it can get you to the BIOS where you can start making some changes to hopefully troubleshoot and fix any issue that you might be having. Finally, the last option is the System Restore, which uses a System Restore point on your computer to restore Windows to a previous point in time. If Windows is still working, you could do that from within Windows, but this gives you an option to do that if Windows is not starting and you want to try to do this. So it'll then load up the screen here to show you any system restore points that you might have where then you can navigate through and choose a restore point and follow the prompts to restore it. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any restore points on this computer, so I'm not able to do that. But I do have some videos that also show you how to create and uh, use any restore points. So you can always reference those videos and see how to do a system restore. But basically, it would give you a list. You would hit next, follow through, choose the date, hit next, and it does its thing and reboots. And if it works, it'll go back into Windows. And if it doesn't reboot, then you're right back to the blue screen again where you can continue troubleshooting. So failing all those troubleshooting steps in the advanced options, you could always go back to reset this PC and reinstall everything. But this video was all about the advanced options for troubleshooting Windows 11. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing even better. Give it a super thanks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.